Okay, today's photo walk is to one of the great unsung gems of northern Utah, the Heber Valley. Now, I know you've heard of Park City and the Sundance Resort and all the great skiing there. Heber Valley is right in between, about 15 minutes on both sides. You could do some great skiing in the winter and during the summer months, great weather, bicycling, hiking, all these great outdoor activities. In Midway, you've got the beautiful Swiss village uh, that was developed in the 1850s. You've got the residential neighborhoods of Heber and the farming and really beautiful scenery and great photography. Heber is Utah's backyard, so everybody comes to play in our backyard. So today, let's go explore those Swiss gems in Midway, visit a geothermal hot spring that sits beneath a beehive-shaped limestone rock, go e-biking through the country lands, and all those photo ops here in northern Utah. Make sure that your phone is charged up Wipe the lens clean, check your storage, and let's go photo walk the Heber Valley. Let's begin with the most walkable area of the Heber Valley, and that would be Midway, Swiss village of Midway. First developed by the Swiss settlers in the 1850s. We are not in Disneyland. These are not recreations. These homes are the real thing, built 150, 175 years ago, and kept up and lovingly restored. A uh, great place for a photo walk because you're just going to walk up and down these streets, seeing all these great homes. Your camera is going to have a field day. Photo walking through Midway, it's pretty simple. Just start at the intersection of Main and Center Streets, where you will see three vintage Swiss homes on three of the four corners. Walk in any direction to see even more great buildings. Go down side streets and then continue down Main. If you do take Main all the way, past the post office and shops, and turn right to walk up the hill, you will end up at the two resorts in the area. The Swiss-themed Zermatt, which opened in 2006, and the Homestead across the street, which dates back to 1891. This is where we will be visiting the crater shortly, but first, I want to take you back into the center of Midway for two of my favorite photo ops in town. We will begin by going up to Memorial Hill for a 360-degree view. Memorial Hill in Heber Valley is probably the best spot for one of those great overview shots. Earlier today when I got here, I got really excited because there were clouds everywhere. They kind of disappeared. I wanted to do a time lapse. I still want to do a time lapse. And I think even without the clouds, I can show you sunset and the shadows over the valley that look pretty cool. And that's fine and dandy, but I did return the next day and the clouds make the shot, right? The other locale I really like in the Heber Valley is called Deer Creek and it's to the left of Midway. Just turn left at the light and go down a mile or so until you find a clearing with a good shot of the water. If you come early in the morning, you've heard me say this before, but you're going to see awesome reflections set against majestic Mount Timp. Now, I visited in late May when the green and the snow runoff was particularly rich. I also happened to have my handy-dandy drone with me, which when I went up into the skies, showed a little bit more reflection than I saw down on the ground. I asked Jessica from the Heber Tourism Office to point out some of the most iconic postcard images in the area. And we went over some of them, which of course included Deer Creek in historic Midway. And then there was the Utah Crater. It's a geothermal hot spring. It's been around, um, we were originally discovered in the 1800s. It then developed, if you will, to allow circling and swimming and scuba diving. It's the only warm water scuba destination in the continuous 48 chain. And if you're like me, you're going to want to get your camera wet, and I know how to do that. So we'll start with the iPhone, even though Apple says not to do it. This is a water-resistant camera, and not a waterproof camera. But I've done it many times, and then it's really good. So here we go. Beyond getting my phone all wet, I also had some fun with panorama widescreen shots. Here you put your camera mode into the pano setting, place the phone in a vertical position, and photograph from side to side. Another fun thing to try that most people don't do is the tall pano. 
where you place the phone horizontally and go from bottom to top. In a place like the crater, it's something you really, really want to do since the hugeness of the place is a challenge to capture and it's so easy. The Homestead Resort, which is right next to the crater, is best known for its golf course and winter activities. And of course, if Jeff is there with a camera, he's going to set up a time lapse, particularly when there's amazing clouds flying over the golf course, right? Next stop, the town of Heber City, population around 18,000. Heber has seen huge growth in the last few years as a more affordable alternative to nearby Park City. It's a residential and farming community, great for getting photos of animals and enjoying the amazing back roads for views. Backroads of Heber, circa 3600 East, is a great place for a expansive view of Mount Tim. Main Street in town will remind you of what life might have been like in the 1950s or even earlier. I love these old brick buildings. I also am a huge fan of the iconic bowling alley where time certainly has stood still. Not so across the street, where the bagel den is a nod to current times. However, just down the road, we are about to step back in time once more. All aboard for the Heber Valley Railroad, once known as the Heber Creeper. This is a nostalgic, old-timey, slow, 90-minute ride through the backcountry, highlighted by some very energetic singing and dancing along the way. For me, some of the views out the window are just amazing. Last stop of the photo walk, the home of the train, the Dairy Keen. No photo ops here, but hey, photographers like to eat too, right? Now, this is the place where riders like to come afterwards for burgers, fries, and of course, some ice cream. On busy days, the Dairy Keen will make a whole lot of shakes. How many? I sold 1,600 shakes. Do you have a favorite flavor? Um, I would say my favorite flavor today would be raspberry lemon. Yesterday, it was probably tropical breeze. The day before that, it was probably chocolate chip strawberry. So I don't have one specific one. Look what we have there. Look at that. Do those shakes look photographable? Two shakes, because how high would you just get one? I've got the mint Oreo and I've got the chocolate covered strawberry. Where would you even start? I gotta be the chocolate covered strawberry because it's not something that you see every day. Wow. Mm. God, that is good. Fresh strawberries, too, right? Lovely. Right? This is amazing. Mm. And now we'll go a little green. Green and red. Should be a flag of some kind, man. Mm. Yeah. Not men Oreos. Real Oreos. And... Um, Little, little red, little green, called pink little green. And, wow. Huge thanks to GoHeberValley.com and the Jamaat Resort for their promotional assistance. For more information about the Heber Valley and some of the locations that we visited on today's episode, be sure to check out our PhotoWalksTV.com website. If you haven't done it already, please do me a favor, like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel right here on YouTube. I'm Jefferson Graham, and I look forward to seeing you on the next photo walk, everyone. Bye.